demonstrate how I've made uh, an editable cross-tab type of interface uh, where I can take two lists of data that have similarities. Here they have uh, uh, project and discipline and I want to uh, build a cross-tab where I can uh, put in an earned value uh, percentage amount uh, of work complete for each week. So um, this is my screen where I can configure the packages and then I have this cross tab where I select my package and I select a discipline and I select a week and I hit the display button and what it does is it runs a cross tab query of the combinations of uh, packages and disciplines in the week uh, along with the uh, deliverables that we were selected on the previous page and it uh, creates a, a temporary table of that cross tab and then it binds this form to that um, and these columns here are dynamically built uh, because any any discipline could have different deliverables or any package so if you see here if I change this to uh, process I will get different deliverables when I hit display and uh, it, it only have the width to work in an access form to get to about 21 columns so uh, that's what my limit was we, uh, our limit with the test data we had uh, was 20 so I think we're okay I wanted to get as many as I could um, typically they will have more than three of these so uh, I do have an example here where it actually looks bad because there, there's not good data but this is, this is just to test test data here so when you uh, when you make any changes to the percentages you have a drop down to pick and they only wanted to be able to select uh, these four percentages um, they don't want people gaming the system by just bumping up their percentage each week um, and actually each percentage actually has a rule of credit so if they say that they're at 30 percent um, on this type of task I can double click here oops yeah, there's one um, so it says the work that they should have actually gotten done in order to declare that they have that percentage of work done um, if you notice here the little drop down doesn't appear on every uh, every cell like it does here I didn't like the look of all those drop downs on, on this screen so I went through a little bit of extra effort and I've got a text box control over top of a combo box control um, but the text box doesn't have focus so when I click on the text box uh, the focus goes to the combo box and then it appears I can pick a value and then when I leave the cell the, the uh, text box which is in the front appears again because it doesn't have focus neither nothing in this area has focus um, so once I've uh, changed anything the records dirty or the whole screen in, in a way is dirty so before I can hit the display button again it, this is a reminder here that I need to hit save and uh, even if I change something and I try to hit display it's going to ask me do I want to save changes and I could say yes um, if I move to another week uh, let's move ahead a little more it's going to copy the records in from the previous week so this 90 and this 50 will copy in uh, if I make a change to anything I've got conditional formatting set up I had a little glitch pardon me for that uh, I think I was showing that if you change the value from the previous week's value that it automatically uh, has conditional formatting in here so it's aware of what the previous week's value is and it's not querying that because uh, conditional formatting uh, can't run a query. Uh, I've actually my cross tab instead of just loading this week's worth of data it's actually loading last week's worth of data also and uh, holding that in a hidden cell or a hidden field here and then the conditional formatting just compares the two values. Uh, if you want to get a sneak peek here of what it, this form looks like 